This week's Pasha, we have the story of the Jewish people and Moshe Rabbeinu and his mission to try and extract them from Egypt. At his first attempt, Moshe goes to Paro, to Pharaoh, and he asks for the people to be released. And Pharaoh's response is to say that the, it must be the, the, these people are having it too easy if they can come up with such ridiculous requests. Let's make the work even more murderous. Let's make the quota even harder to fulfill. And Pharaoh goes and does that. He says, in addition to fulfilling the quota for bricks which the people had to produce each day, they had to collect their own straw from this point onwards. And the Jews had to then go out into the fields to collect straw. The straw is dry, the, the straw is piercing like needles. And in their bare feet they were being stabbed by the this hard straw, the blood was pouring from their feet into the different into the fields where the straw was uh, kept. And their suffering was great and their cry was great. And Moshe Rabbeinu was very upset by this. And he comes back to Hashem and he says to Hashem, Why have you done evil to this people? Very harsh words. Why have you done evil to this people? And Rav Desla, in his book, Mechtav Meliyahu, asks, how can it be that Moshe Rabbeinu, our great leader, speaks with such a lack of faith, lack of faith in Hashem's goodness, Hashem's kindness? How do you speak in such harsh terms to the Creator of the universe? Can't he understand that whatever is happening is really for, for, the, for the good of the people? The Midrash Rabbah spells this out even clearer. When Moshe Rabbeinu uttered these very harsh words, Why have you done evil to this people? So there was a heavenly force, the attribute of justice, wanted to strike him, to hurt him for his heresy. How can he speak in such a heretic way? Stop, said Hashem. No, no. He's crying. His cry is a cry of pain. He's in pain. He's in agony for the plight of the Jewish people. And that's his cry. His cry is not to be judged severely, but rather kindly. The fact that he speaks in such a way is just because he's hurting so much for the Jewish people. Where do we see that this is so, though? Where do we see that this really is Moshe Rabbeinu's motivation? And we see it by looking at his story. From his youth, from being a young man, growing up in the lap of luxury within Pharaoh's palace, he was brought up by Pharaoh's own daughter in, in this luxurious palace. He left the palace as a, young, as, a, as a youth. He left the palace to go to his brothers in the, in the, in the fields to help them with, their, with, with schlepping bricks dragging bricks for their toil, and he was their protector. He even went to the extent of killing an Egyptian in his, in his desire to, to, to protect the Jews and to care for the Jews. And the, the ultimate proof really is the fact that he was chosen for this mission. He was chosen to ch take the people out because he really cared for them. That's, that was the qualification. That's what makes him so qualified that he really cares about the Jewish people. He really cares about the wrongs they're suffering. And therefore he was chosen for, for this mission. Therefore, says Hashem, we cannot hurt him in any way. What he was doing was out of pain, out of agony for his love for the people. We have in our own lives often that people hurt us, friends of ours or relatives, members of our community. They hurt us and, we, and we're hurting and we say we're, we're, we're in pain and we want to lash out and we're angry with them. We're angry with those people who hurt, them, hurt us. But we also have to look, just like Hashem looked at Moshe, we also have to look at who these people are. These are good people. These are people, our, these are, these are people who are, are on our side. These are people who want our good. And therefore, if they, if they hurt us, it could be that it's something is hurting them. They hurt us. They insulted us because maybe they themselves are suffering some sort of pain. And therefore, on the contrary, we have to emulate Hashem. We have to reach out to them. If they've hurt us, our response will be, how can we reach out to help them? How can we love them as we need to? This maybe is a message we can learn from this week's Pasha.